Hello. <laughs> so apparently there are some Shadow Priest changes coming up next week for November 28th. I actually did not know that it was up there on MMO. Um, Shane had to send it over to me to let me know. So I figured since there are a decent amount of changes, um, I would talk about them and what I think. I have my printout here so I could just read off what the original post was by Blizzard and then I can talk about my opinions about the changes and whether I think they are good or bad. So first off, they said with the next weekly maintenance, we'll be shifting around some of Shadow Priest's damage sources with the goal of improving their AoE damage performance in short duration multi-target situations, namely dungeon trash packs. The nature and lifetime of dungeon trash packs makes it hard for Shadow Priests to ramp up to their full damage potential as part of their rotation. These changes should improve that situation with a mostly neutral effect for overall performance and longer duration raid fights. So first off, they said that they want to improve our damage for short duration multi-target situations. So the main packs for example, that I can think of that relate to this are the oozes in Eye of Ashara or the little goblins, um, also the rat pack in Arcway, just those large AoE packs that you pretty much just group up a bunch and then you just AoE them down. So the first change they made was to Void Eruption. No longer deals a separate damage event for each of your Shadow Word, Pain, or Vampiric Touch on each target. Instead, deals a single damage event to all targets that have either your Shadow Word Pain or Vampiric Touch. And then the damage was also increased by 700%. So, 700% is a lot. Um, I can't go too deep into numbers because I'm not really a numbers person. Um, but the thing is, for packs like that where it's they have low health and it's just other classes basically pressing a one button and they get burst DPS, whereas we have to dot individual targets first and then we get Void Eruption to go off. But the thing is, for a lot of these packs, unless it's Fortified Week, I feel like by the time you have both dots on every single mob and then get your Void Eruption, their health is usually already at 50% or something because of the other two DPS classes in your group. So there are times where I feel like I can't afford to double dot every single mob before I start AoEing because by then they're already pretty low health and you won't have contributed very much. So the Void Eruption damage increase is a nice buff, but at the same time, I don't think it really addresses the fact that we still have to dot up almost every target and only after we do that do we get our maximum potential for AoE. So the next one is Shadow Crash. It's a talent change. Cooldown was reduced to 20 seconds, down from 30 seconds. Insanity generation increased to 20, up from 15. And then missile speed increased by 60%. So these changes to this talent, I think are kind of useless. Um, let me just say that I don't like this talent at all. I think I will never use this talent unless it tracks like the legendary trinket, um, Kill Jaden's Burning Wish or Wish, whatever the name is. That one, when you use it, I believe it always hits the target that you used it on instead of the location where it was used. That's the difference for Shadow Crash. I don't I don't like the fact that it's used on an area because in Mythic Plus specifically, mobs are rarely in the same location for a long period of time. Um, there's a lot of kiting that goes on in Mythic Plus. Um, tanks move around, they need to reposition the mobs and stuff. And the thing about Shadow Crash is, the thing about Shadow Crash is you're really depending on your tank to move the mobs to where you use it. And since it's on a 20 second cooldown, at higher keys, I can imagine you would use it more than once per trash pack because Mind Bomb is 30 seconds and I am able to use it twice. So I feel like it adds more inconvenience for the entire group. Um, if you use your Shadow Crash and it doesn't hit more than a couple targets, I think then it becomes kind of useless compared to the other talents you could choose. But 
Yeah, just the fact that it becomes restrictive. If the tank moves or the mobs move out of your area of effect, then it kind of completely negates the fact that you use that spell. Um, there are a decent amount of mobs in Mythic Plus that move, they either charge or they like leap and stuff, which can make using this talent really annoying. So I think that the changes to Shadow Crash don't even worry about it because I don't think we'll ever use that talent still. The next one is a change to Mind Seer. The damage is increased by 50%. So that is really just to help our AoE out, but I don't think they really understand the changes they're making. It kind of confuses me because it doesn't change our play style at all, the changes they made. It's just numbers that they changed. So our AoE style is still the same. And the problem with our AoE is our casts and the requirements we need before we start dealing meaningful damage. They're not changing any of that with these changes. So even if we get a Void Eruption off, sure, our damage might um, be much higher than before, but it is also really dependent on how many targets we have dots on. Um, the fact that we get a Void Eruption on a target, whether it has one of our dots compared to two in the past is a nice change, but um, yeah, I just don't think they completely grasp the concept of before our Mind Seer was just able to be cast on a friendly target or an enemy target and it would always deal AoE damage. The fact that we need a Shadow Earth Pain on the target before it starts searing is a really bad design, I think. So I, at first, when I saw these changes, I was like, wow, there's a lot of blue posts for Shadow Priest. This is gonna be interesting, but I think that these changes are kind of nothing to be excited about. Um, I might be proven wrong in terms of maybe our damage will change a bit for those AoE packs. I will definitely have to see about it. But in terms of the, the way we AoE, I'm not a fan of it, especially because other classes have, you know, one button they press and they do burst AoE, whereas we have none of that. Maybe Shadow Crash counts, but it's not very good. Um, and then the other two changes are uh, Heart of the Void. The legendary, I believe this is the chest piece, which I don't have, so it's kind of irrelevant to me because I can't use it. But it increases Void Eruption's damage by 75%, down from 300%, and heals you for 25%, down from 40% of the damage done. So these changes are kind of just rescaling of the numbers with the Void Eruption buff. So they want to just make sure that this legendary doesn't become too powerful because of what the Void Eruption damage used to be. Um, and then our last change is just Shadow Earth Pain and Vampiric Touch. Both their damage are reduced by 4%. Uh, that is another numbers thing in regards to the other buffs they gave us. But yeah, I mean, overall, like I mentioned before, I don't think these changes are anything huge in terms of what they intended for it to be. I can't speak for raiding because I don't really raid and um, I haven't really been familiar with what numbers Shadow Priest can put out for some of the raid bosses for a while. So I'm speaking purely in a dungeon standpoint. But yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts for the changes. Um, if you have anything you want to discuss with me, definitely leave me a comment. I'll be very interested to hear what people think about these changes outside of my own opinions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.